What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I've gotten a lot of requests for this video and a lot of people are wondering how to get the launcher to stick on the Vivo Next S or any of their phones that run this fun touch skin on Android. In addition to that, people are also wondering how to get your notifications actually working. It is quite complicated. Uh, it was a little frustrating for me so I wanted to put this video together for any of you guys thinking about getting this and using it in the US. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Go ahead and unlock the phone and go right into your settings menu. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go into more settings. And then permission management. It is not in here actually. You're going to want to go to your applications. And you can see right here, there's one that says default app settings. You would normally think that all you need to do is set the launcher you choose to Nova. That is one step along the way. However, the most important part is actually getting in contact with Vivo, whether it be on Facebook Messenger on the US Vivo account or emailing them. What you're going to need, the catch to using this phone with another launcher is actually this right here. You're going to need a personal public Vivo account. It's free. They're very quick to give it to you once you tell them what you're doing. Uh, they don't argue. They just recommend a couple things along the way like not saving any personal information because it is a public account. However, it is perfectly secure. You are using your Gmail account with it and your Google account so they do not tie together. However, without this information, you will not be able to use a custom launcher and be able to leave it stick. Other than, otherwise, you're going to set it and swipe up and you're going to have the default fun touch launcher, uh, which personally I was not a huge fan of. So just keep that in mind. That is all you need to do to get the launcher to work. The other one we were talking about were notifications. This is a multi-step process that I've found. And unfortunately, I can't find any other way around it. However, as long as you don't mind to dedicate a few minutes to get it to work, here's what you're going to need to do. Aside from going into the actual status bar and notification menu, where you can see obviously manage notifications and turning what you want on and off, this unfortunately is not going to get it to work 100% of the time. As you can see, I have ESPN on, and you can see it'll allow what you'd want your lock screen notifications, your pop ups, etc. etc. You actually need to take another step, just like you did with the launcher, and go into more settings again, applications, the app you install that you want to make sure you get your notifications from. We'll just go ahead and say DirecTV now. You need to go into permissions, single permission settings, and make sure these are all on. So we're going to go ahead and display on lock screen, floating window, auto start if you want. And then on top of that, make sure again in your regular notifications you allow them. So you're going to go ahead and toggle that on again, show on lock screen, and you're done. Not the simplest process, guys. I apologize. I just wanted to make this video, hopefully to help you guys out and see what needs to be done instead of just reading a whole bunch of blogs. That is all for this video, guys. Please leave a thumbs up down below and help us out. Comment, subscribe to the channel for more information, and let me know if you see any other questions you guys have with this device. Till next time guys.